After working for a decade in the field of accounting and finance, I've really learned a lot about money, how to grow it, how to keep it, how to sustain it. And one of the things that I'm always, always harping on is the bad money habits that hold us all back. And if you can grab a hold on to what those money habits are, you really can become successful and you can make all the money that you want to make in the world. But you got to identify them and you got to be able to rectify them correctly. So the first bad money habit that I want to talk to you about is not having a savings goal. And really, this boils down to understanding how much money you have coming in every month and how much money you have going out every month and how much you can actually afford to put back into your savings account. Every single month, we have to pay our bills. We have to pay our utilities. We have to pay the things that are necessary and required for us to live. Problem is, a lot of people don't know how much they have to pay themselves and they don't make it a necessity. And if you do this, what's going to end up happening is you're going to get to the end of every paycheck period and you're not going to have any money for yourself. And so if you're just starting out and you want to fix this problem, look at how much money you're bringing in every single week and really determine how much you can afford in the first place to put back. As soon as you get paid, you will start to pay yourself first before you pay anything else and it will become a priority for yourself and you will see your bank account rise every single week and every single time you get paid the second bad money habit is buying things that don't make you any money essentially what you're doing is you're just staying in place in your life financially and you're not necessarily progressing towards anything so what are the things that don't make you money cars don't make you money clothes don't make you money jewelry doesn't make you money expensive vacations don't make you money sporting events don't make you money a lot of things we spend money on today that don't make us money that we're totally fine with and look i'm not here to say don't actually spend money on those things what i'm saying is you need to think about what your end goals are what are your money goals do you want to be rich do you want to be wealthy are you okay where you are in life if you're okay with where you are in life today then spend all the money you want in the world on whatever it is that you want to buy things on i like to be in control of my financial future i want to see my retirement go up i want to see my savings go up and the only way i'm going to do that is by spending money on things that are going to help me produce more money in the future and those things are simple investments or it's real estate and those are only things that you really need to be looking at in terms of spending money on to make more money. The third bad money habit that you have to cut out is swiping your credit card. And there are so many people in America today that are swiping their credit card just thoughtless, just aimless swiping of credit cards. And I get it. There's a lot of fraud protections when it comes to swiping credit cards. There's a lot of travel points and just points in general when it comes to swiping the credit card. What I will say is this credit card debt is definitely climbing in this country and it is a huge problem for a lot of people interest rates aren't going down anytime soon it's getting more and more expensive to hold on to this debt and i am a firm believer that if you have debt in your life you are not truly financially free if you're going to spend on a credit card you have to come up with plans to pay it off either immediately or in a short amount of time Do yourself a favor really reevaluate do you need to spend on your credit card or not pull back if you do and go from there the fourth bad money habit has to do with planning and i'm a big proponent of this it is not having a written budget essentially why a written budget is important is because it allows you to project out into the future what your money is going to do for you and if you don't know what that is you're going to be making decisions in the present that affect your future and you're not even really accounting for it properly my wife and i have a written budget that we review frequently we always look at how much money's coming in how much money's going out like it's so simple open up a google spreadsheet just throw in your income in there, throw in your expenses in there and figure out what exactly your money is going to do week over week. The fifth bad money habit that it, that happens a lot and especially now in today's age is gambling. Sports gambling and gambling in general is a is such a bad thing to get into. And at the end of the day, I know it's fun. I know it's one of those things that give you a huge adrenaline rush, especially if a bet goes your way. It takes money out of your budget. It takes money out of your life in general. And let's be honest, Nobody really comes out on top when it comes to gambling. Now, if you're a professional sports gambler, a professional gambler, which everybody thinks they are, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the everyday casual human being. Please do me a favor and do not get sucked up into this bad money habit because it doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't make any money for you. And it is a problem, right? It is very addicting. 
And uh, at the end of the day, it can be very damaging to your life. I'm not saying never gamble, right? Like if you ever have to gamble, make sure you're gambling with money that you can afford to lose. The sixth bad money habit is not having an emergency fund. An emergency fund is something that has three to six months of your living expenses in it. It's a tough thing to do. It requires you to understand your expenses, so you have to have a written budget. And then it requires you to save a bunch of money, right? And so you have to have a savings goal, right? And so it's one of those like multi-layered you know, budgeting, good discipline, money, things that you have to do. But there's so many people that don't have it. And it's very, very problematic because if something happens in your life that requires you to go three to six months without income, you need to be able to support yourself. And so an emergency fund is a great way in which you can hedge against some of these things that happen in life. And let's be honest, a lot of stuff happens in life. People lose their jobs. Uh, people get injured and can't work. And an emergency fund is the one way that you can mitigate against all of these risks. Get yourself an emergency fund as soon as humanly possible. The next bad money habit is using cash advances or buy now, pay later offering. So essentially what buy now, pay later is, is what it sounds like is your ability to leverage something like an Affirm, leverage something like Apple Pay, where you can buy something now without actually having to pay the cash for it and then paying for it later this sucks so bad because it is just as bad as a credit card sometimes the interest is even worse on some of these purchases you should never do this because it is making everyday goods that are already at inflated prices even that much more expensive because now you're paying interest on top of it this is horrible do not do this if you get offered a solution that says hey we'll buy this now for you and you just pay us ten dollars a month for the next six months don't do that like that is so stupid do not do that can't believe i have to say that but in the day and age we live in buy now pay later is really starting to take over the eighth bad money habit that i want to talk about is not investing and I think I know why people don't invest their money into the stock market or into any other things that can produce them money. It's because they don't know enough about it and they believe it's only reserved for smart people or people that like know a whole bunch about investing. And that could not be further from the truth. What I know about investing is that investing is super simple and super easy to get into and it can be put on autopilot. There are so many things that you can tap into on your phone that allows you to put your investing on autopilot and the best thing that you can do is to invest in the broad market mutual fund or index fund like the s p 500 if you just put back a certain amount of money call it 100 200 every single month into the stock market you will see that money grow over time and if you don't do this you are really missing out on a huge opportunity to grow your net worth please do yourself a favor and invest you need to save and then you need to invest and then the last bad money habit is the one that i really really needed to talk to uh, because it is a lazy way of losing money and i don't think people really realize how much money they're losing on this and it's paying atm fees so like out of market or not you're not not your bank like atms that are not your bank they charge you for using their atm to pull out cash and if you notice on your bank statements not only do you get charged from that atm that's not your bank but then your bank charges you on top of that so you're getting double charged for pulling out money when all you had to do was go drive another mile or two miles to your bank and pull out money. I can't believe I'm even talking about this one, but it is a very bad money habit that a lot of people have. It's like, sometimes it's unavoidable, right? Like sometimes it's an unavoidable situation. Sometimes you don't have your bank nearby and I understand that, but try to not do this because a simple 20 to $40 withdrawal can turn into a 50 to $60 withdrawal because of these fees. Don't do this. This is an easy way for banks to make money. They love when people do this they want you to use your at their atm so they can charge you fees go to your atm pull out the money and yeah, that's what you need to do that's that's how you get cash bank at your bank that's all i got for you guys today thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel if you like content like this please do me a favor and smash the like button for the youtube algorithm it really really helps me out okay that's all i got for this one and i'll see you on the next one later